I'm Carlene Rose and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of a flow but mostly stretches for the neck and uh, the upper shoulders, upper back. Uh, we tend to hunch over and crush our neck with our shoulders, not great posture when we're sitting working all day. So this will really help open that up, stretch all of those areas out. We do want to still use our mula bandha breath even though we're just doing stretches uh, that will activate our deep core line, give us a little bit more of a heated stretching. So inhale. Uh, to your low belly, let your low belly and your pelvic floor expand and exhale, squeeze everything in and out like a tube of toothpaste. You're squeezing it out from the bottom. Inhale here. Exhale. Exhaling through the nose, getting that victorious breath sound. Inhale last time here. Exhale. And maintaining that breath, while we go through the movements. So we're going to come onto our hands and knees, just starting with some cat-cow. So inhale, arching the spine, exhale, rounding it up. Knees and hands are firmly grounded onto the earth as you do this movement. You notice I'm still bending my elbows, using that momentum to get a much deeper stretch. Awesome, and from here, you can take your old yogi's choice, dance of your spine, move it side to side, get a little twisty. Our spine moves in more than just the, the arch and round, so we want to start warming it up by taking a moment to move our spine in all kinds of directions. So I get a little dancey, get a little flowy with it, and then come back to center. Wave the spine long, extend tall through the crown of the head. Inhale the right arm to the sky, so we're opening up towards the right. And exhale, threading your arm underneath your left. Don't touch the ground yet, just hover for a second. Inhale here. Exhale. Very nice. Inhale up again. And exhale, this time planting your arm and your shoulder on the ground, resting your head on the ground. Really make sure that your feet are firmly planted. You're still grounded with your feet here. Um, if you just let them flop around and move all over the place, it'll actually take away from the stretch in your upper back and shoulder. You can even tent the fingertips of your standing hand and press away, rotate a bit more to get a deeper stretch. One more breath here, and slowly release that, coming back up to your hands and knees, wave tall through the spine again. Inhale, left arm this time, extends up towards the sky, exhale, threading it under, hovering over the floor. Inhale up, exhale. Last time here, inhaling up, and this time placing the arm on the floor, getting a nice long stretch through the upper back grounding through the earth at the tops of your feet, and then again you can go onto fingertips of the right hand, pressing away from the earth a bit, deepening that stretch. And keep your hips firmly facing towards the ground. You don't want your hips to twist or turn anywhere, because again that will take away from the stretch in your shoulder. And making your way back up to hands and knees. Long spine again. Now from here, tuck your toes under. We'll go back to the cat-cow. But as we do our cow round, we're going to lift off of our knees. So our knees are going to hover over the ground this time. Inhale here. Exhale. So you're getting a little bit of a workout in while we're doing our stretching. Inhale here. Exhale. And make sure you're really grounded into the earth with your hands, strong fingertips, strong palms, because this time you're going to hover and press yourself back into down dog. So starting with bent knees here, wave the spine long. Make sure you have enough space for your neck and your shoulders aren't crushing your ears. And then you can press back and let your heels rest towards the floor. It's okay if they don't touch, especially because we haven't warmed up our legs really at all. You can bend one knee and then the other, 
to start doing that. And from here, bending your knees and elbows, you're going to wave yourself forward to plank. Come onto your knees, and this time we're going to lower ourselves all the way to the floor. Ah, feels nice. <laughs> now from here, I'll start with this side. Take your left arm out. You want it out, straight line from your arm, a 90 degree angle. Turn and face towards the right, and come onto your left side. So here we'll be stretching the front of our shoulder our front chest, so just rolling on to the left side. You're grounding yourself with your opposite hand, holding yourself up. If you need a deeper stretch, you can take the right foot, plant it behind you, and let the knee open you up. Awesome, making your way back to center on the floor. Now right arm is going to reach out, again, 90 degree angle, and you're going to come onto your right side, resting your right hand. Again, we've got our left hand planted, holding us up. And of course, if you want to deepen the stretch just a bit, you can plant your left foot behind you, let the knee open up, and let the weight of your knee start to deepen that stretch. You don't want to stretch too far, too fast, too soon. So if adding the leg is too much, don't do that. Just stay laying on the right side. Awesome. Making your way back to center again. Firmly planting your hands onto the mat. Inhale here for parallel spine. Roll yourself in and up. Feel that wave coming all the way from your deep core. Send tall through the crown in a cobra and bending your elbows, exhale through pointed plank, back to down dog. Very nice, from here you can walk your feet forward, take a moment to pause in a forward fold, get a little bit more of a stretch in your legs, and then come to sit on the floor. All right, I'll turn to face you so you can see what's going on. We're gonna come into an ankle to knee pose. So. Right leg is stacked on top. We've got our right ankle over our right knee. Knees and ankles are both in line. You don't have to worry about if your legs aren't touching. Just let gravity do the work. Eventually, you know, the, your hips will open up and you can get there. If it's more comfortable, you can also put a pillow or something there to help with that. We don't have to worry about stretching deep into our legs. So we're just going to let our hips kind of naturally slowly open while we work on our neck and uh, upper back. So we're focused on neck right here. So start by waving the spine tall. And we'll do some gentle movements. So turn your face towards over your right shoulder, and then to your left, back to your right, left, right, left, right again. One more time, each side. Nice. Now we'll do some head movement, just tilting back and forward. So it's a slower controlled movement. So we're still moving our neck in ways that maybe we don't really stretch it normally. Last time back and down, bring your head back to center. Now this time, drop right ear to right shoulder. Other side, make sure as you're doing this, you're keeping your shoulders down. Again, we don't want to be crushing our neck. Right, last time to the right, and last time to the left, this time hold it. So holding here, right arm reaches long. So now we're deepening that stretch by reaching out with the right arm. If you want, you can even take your left hand and pl place it on top of your head, kind of over your ear. And from here, we're going to do kind of a um, press and release movement. So lift. Press against your head and lift your arm just a little bit. Or press against your head against your hand, rather. And then gently release that. And that will help this stretch go. Um, it'll, it'll help you stretch more when you do that. So we'll do it one more time, pressing against our hand, lifting the arm just a little bit, and exhale, release that. You can release your other hand 
back to the floor and start turning your neck to face the floor. Stretching all of the side neck muscles, really reaching along with your right fingertips. And gently release all of that, coming back up into center. Now from here, interlace your fingers behind your back. Stretch your hands and wrists out long. Make sure you're not crushing your wrists, really reaching them out long, extending from the arms. And you can stay here, or if you want, fold over your legs just a bit. And back to center. Now we've got two sides, of course, so switch legs. Left leg is on top now, finding that comfortable position with ankle to knee. Again, letting gravity do the work with our legs. We're not really worried about them too much right now. Extend long through the spine. So start with that wave, really lifting up through your deep core muscles, extending through the crown of the head, and then we'll do those neck movements again. So turning to the left first, turn to the right, turn to the left. Again, making sure that you're not crushing your shoulders into your ears. You don't have to like hold them way far down, but you don't want them lifted. Last one there. Now again, to dropping back, coming forward. Stretching the front of your neck feels so good. And back to center. Now dropping left ear to left shoulder and alternate. Again, doing this slow and controlled. Last time to the left, now holding it to the right, and again reaching out, extending your left fingertips this time, starting to deepen that neck stretch. If you want to take that little press and release challenge, take your right hand on top of your head, over your ear. Now with this, you're not pressing your ear, you're not trying to pull your head away, you're just using that little bit of weight to get that little bit of extra stretch. And then here, press your head into your hand, lift your left arm just a bit, and exhale. Noticing if that stretch goes just a bit deeper. And then again, pressing into the head, or into your hand with your head, lifting the arm, and exhale. Very nice, gently releasing that. So right hand is back to the floor as you start turning your head to face the floor, stretching different parts of the neck. all of that. Now interlace your fingers again behind your back. You can even try alternating which fingers on top. That's weird sometimes if we always do the same um, fingers on top. Extend along through the spine. Again, you can stay here just reaching um, away from you with your fingers and your hands and your wrists, or you can keep that reach while folding over your leg slightly. Again, keeping that long spine though. center. Now from here, take your feet, put them together. We're going to come into a butterfly pose. Again, don't have to worry about the legs so much. Just let them fall where they may. We're not worried about pressing them down. Just kind of letting gravity take over. Your feet can even open a little bit or you can have your feet more planted together, whatever is more comfortable. Wave tall through the spine. From here, just do some small shoulder rolls back, forward, very nice, now from here, reach your arms out, reach them up tall, big stretch, and exhale, hands come back down to the ground, do another shoulder roll, just sit tall here for a moment, noticing all of that stretch, lengthening that we did with the neck, we need a little bit of strengthening now that we've stretched out those muscles. I hope you enjoyed that stretch. I hope it felt good, especially like I said, after maybe a day of work, that's a great thing to do to release tension that we can build up in our neck and shoulders. Uh, feel free to do that as much as you want. I do look forward to seeing you next week on the mat though, so be sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. That way you get notifications when the new videos go up and make sure you get on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list because I do have exclusive content for you there. 
Namaste.